How's it going guys, Chaos Prime here and today we have video number 2 in the Javelin Breakdown. Today we cover Storm, no not the awesome X-Men Storm but the even more awesome Javelin Storm. If you want to show your support for this video and channel drop a like, subscribe and share. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the address you're seeing at the bottom of your screen to stay up to date on all things channel related. In our first video I started with Ranger seeing as it's the first class you start with and the one you're introduced to first it seemed like a good place to start but with Ranger out the way now we now move on to the Storm. This is the mystical and magical suit in your collection of javelins, the Black Mage of Final Fantasy, the Mage of World of Warcraft, its origins from the Dominion's northern home Stralheim. Storm unlike the other three javelins has the ability to float above the ground without depleting any resources which is a really big thing when it comes to airtime. Moving will obviously deplete resources but being able to stay in mid air stationary and not depleting your resources is a really big boon giving you the advantage of aerial visibility. The suit is capable of harnessing the raw energy of the anthem which you will find out more when the game is released. Unlike Ranger which is a jack of all trade, Storm is a glass cannon type of class in Anthem. The Storm is capable of unleashing huge amounts of elemental power onto the enemy but it's quite weak when it comes to defending themselves and withstanding heavy hits is something they are ill equipped to deal with. Much like the Ranger and Interceptor the Storm Javelin is capable of wielding every weapon type except for the heavy weapons which can only be exclusively used by the Colossus. The Storm has what Bioware are calling seals which are built into the Storm. The Storm can use various gears it has to tap into the power of the Anthem to release a raw elemental energy in the form of Kinesis abilities. You can equip 3 Kinesis gear abilities in total, one from each of the 3 categories that are available, Blask, Focus and Support. With its elemental power and minimal armour the Storm has a reputation for being a fierce, cyclonic and explosive javelin that can spell disaster for one and all. One thing is for sure, when it comes to this javelin there's no doubting the strength of the Storm. Just maybe the defensive strengths. So let's take a deeper look into the abilities found within the Storm's arsenal. The melee ability is a fiery strike, the Storm uses the seals on its arm to deliver an explosive flash dealing damage and providing a knockback effect. Its combo which is unique to this Storm Javelin is an ability once activated chaining damage across all nearby enemies and dealing a mass amount of damage to one and all around you within a set radius. The Storm's dodging ability is a blink teleport type ability. It is different to what the Ranger has and the Colossus and the Interceptor will each have a unique form of dodging. So where the Ranger can simply just dodge out the way the Storm can use the ability of the Anthem to blink teleport and stay true to its class. We next move on to the Blast Seal Abilities category which is one of the three categories that the Storm specialises in. It has Lightning Strike, a targeted strike that deals lightning damage in an area of effect. It has Ice Storm, creates a field of ice that deals damage rapidly building to a final explosion of frost. It has Flame Burst, a quick explosion that deals fire damage to a target location. It has Rhyme Blast, fires out a flurry of ice projectiles that deal damage and freezes close range targets. And finally Living Flame, a burst of flame energy that seeks out and ignites targets. As you can see every ability within the Blast Seals ability is an AoE focused attack. It's either based on targeting a certain area or a particular target but damages all the enemies around said target. It is an AoE based ability and it is an AoE based category so when you're using the Storm just know that unlike the Ranger which is a single target based javelin, the Storm is the complete polar opposite being an AoE based javelin. But that isn't to say that the Storm can only do AoE attacks because if that was the case then it would be pretty hard to take it to every content. Well this is where the Focus Seals abilities comes in, so that's where we're going to go next. It has Horfrost Shards, a rapid fire shards of ice that slowly freeze a target in place. By freezing that said target in place it gives the rest of your teammates the opportunity to take it down in quick time. Fireball, a versatile fire ability that can be fired quickly in small shots or charged for a large projectile that explodes. Again, if you're firing it in small shots it's more of a single target attack but you do have that AoE opportunity if it arises by charging it up to deliver a massive fireball that will deal damage to a surrounding area. Ball Lightning, 
a discharge of electric energy that can be bounced off walls to reach targets behind cover. Again, this will be more relevant and more useful in niche situations. This is a pretty cool ability, so it gives you the option to almost blind fire behind certain objects, hoping to hit stuff that you can't see. If the camera angle allows you to see, you can position yourself in just a way to actually get a few shots in and assist in what's there before you go in guns blazing. So I think this will have a niche usability. It won't be your go-to ability in terms of raw damage, but it does mean that if an enemy does go to take cover, you've still got something there that can technically have a chance of continuing the damage onslaught. Next, we have the Glacial Beam. Fires a beam of powerful ice energy in a targeted direction. Again, this is more AOE. It's not a single target effect. It is a beam, so everyone caught in the line of fire will take damage. Arc Burst unleashes a blast of lightning that will leap to nearby targets for heavy damage. This again is very similar to the combo, if not the combo ability. Much like the Ranger, the Storm also has support seals. So let's go through these as well. It has Wind Wall. Generates a defensive wall of wind that deflects incoming energy projectiles. Much like the Ranger with its defensive wall. And Nexus creates a field which provides gear cooldown reduction to teammates who enter its radius. So it seems the support abilities for Ranger and Storm are pretty much the same in terms of what they do. So I assume it was done in this way to make every Javelin viable with set skills to be able to use. But hopefully with components and mods, we can augment these in a way to make them more unique to each Javelin. Finally, the ultimate ability, Elemental Storm. Three area of effect blasts in a row consisting of frost, electric or fire, ending with a meteoric style storm on the marked spots. As you can see on screen right now, this looks absolutely amazing. And though I originally did say I wanted to play Ranger because I am more of the single target gung-ho style of player, I may actually take the mantle of storm. This actually looks really interesting. But who knows, maybe the other two javelins that I'll be covering soon will also sway me one way or another. So far, both javelins are pretty awesome. As an elemental base glass cannon javelin, the storm demonstrates just how powerful it actually can be and why much like the ranger, it will command a spot within your team of four. Its glass cannon nature will require protecting and defensive abilities from the likes of the colossus and the ranger, but even when not with said javelins, its own defensive skills should be pertinent enough to keep it still in the fight. Being a glass cannon means you kill first and ask questions later, so your playstyle will aim for a more aggressive style of play and due to this, its learning curve will likely be higher than the other three. However, the results will pay themselves off in dividends. Hope you enjoyed this video, and now that's two down, two to go. Thanks for watching, and until next time, remain legend.